This is a demonstration video showing how to use the Fiddler tool to diagnose any issues with Facebook's recent announcement that some Facebook applications are violating their policies. This will give you an overview of how a page can fail their tests and what you should look for using this tool to test your own page. First, we'll start the Fiddler debugging tool. Uh, I'm going to remove everything and I'm going to use their demonstration application on how the process should work because in that process you can see where it will fail. So I'm simply going to go over here. I have never approved this application before so when I click log in with Facebook it's going to bring me here. I'm going to log in and when I log in it asks for my permissions and you'll see in the background here everything is being recorded and now I'm actually logged in properly and the final URL looks like this and external content is being loaded here which is this YouTube video. Now what we want to look for in Fiddler is specifically you'll see that when we are returned to their page you'll see in the URL itself is this session equals and session key. This key is the value which can be intercepted by third parties and causes Facebook great pains. So if this URL is shown and on this page any other content is loaded then there is a problem because then that content can see that key through the refer heading because if you load an iframe or an image or a JavaScript function or script it can see this key being loaded and that causes or that causes a leaking of data. What they've done here is then they redirect and take out that information and so now this is the URL that's being loaded and from this URL you'll see that YouTube is being loaded therefore there is no session key in here and everything is good. Now I'm going to log out of Facebook and we will test with our own application to show you how JFB Connect performs login authentication and how it does not violate the policies and does not allow for leaking of data. So here I've cleared all the data. I will hit login with Facebook which loads JFB Connect, the Joomla Facebook Connect extension. I'm going to log in here. It's asking for my permissions. I allow it. And of course up here you will see that there is no session key in there. And actually in the whole process here you'll see that there are no URLs which actually use the session key. While we are loading external content from Google and Woopra, you will see that the loading page has no session key in it. The loading page is actually this one right here because this this login page actually performed a redirect here and then this page is loading our external content. So this should give you the confidence to know that JFP Connect is not violating the Facebook policies and that it is not leaking any user information to third parties. Hopefully this will help you diagnose your own application should you not be using JFB Connect. And if you are using Joomla, we recommend you use JFB Connect. Thank you.